Hi friends, welcome, welcome to, to another, another episode wonderful episode of Kiddo, Kiddo Kids. Kids. Okay, so that was uh, today's Tuesday, right? Yes, and today is 20th December. 20th December and the last month of the year. Yeah, and next and year next is January, which is yes. a new year. And we all will be taking many pledges and all that this year I'll complete my homework on time. This year I'll do this thing, this thing that thing. New year and resolutions. Yeah. Every uh, year I take that but I don't follow it, what to do. <laughs> okay, so uh, you can share your experience by calling us in the numbers given below. The first number is 052 and the second number is 050 And there is a special segment which is called a Budding Talents where yes. you can send your artworks as well such as your photo, photos, your paintings, your colorings, your drawings. In anything, yeah, anything into kiddo kids at ntvua.tv. So that's our email ID. So don't forget to send. And if you have any suggestions, comments, or anything, just SMS to 3537. So, like, uh, that was our starting, and yes. that was really powerful. Active, also, yes. <laughs> okay, so now today we don't have a guest, and that's the thing, yes. Yeah, today, no guest, yeah. Our callers itself will be our um, guest. Yes, so the, we are having a quiz of the day, right? Yes. The first caller will get the quiz of the day. Yes, so first let's start with the importance of this day. End of the importance of the day will be led by Sanusha. <laughs> okay, so let's know what all happened in this world in 20 December, right? Yes. So let's go for the importance of this day. Yes. So December 20th is the 354th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar. December 20th, 1989. President George Bush launches Operation Just Cause and has sent U.S. forces into the Central American country of Panama in a bid to out dictator Manuel Noriga. Elvis Presley receives his draft notice for the United States Army on December 20. Okay, so that was the importance, importance of, of this day. day and I hope that was really informative, right? Yes. So now so we have to go for the thought, thought for, the, for day. the day and that is led by Shonan. Okay, that's so the thought of the day is by Benjamin Franklin. Well done is better than well said. Okay, so that is a very nice yes, one, Yes, right? that's really great also. Yeah. And okay, so now let's go for the word for the day. Word for the day. A new word to a vocabulary wall, right? Yes. So let's know what is the word for the day. The word is gaze. I repeated gaze. G A Z E. Meaning, look steadily and intently, especially in admiration, surprise, or thought. <laughs> okay. So, right now I'm gazing, but you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we can see Shivana in gazing, right? Okay, so that is a sentence. Yes. Guess properly. <laughs> okay, yeah. and that was really cool, right? Yeah. So now, oh, we have our first caller. So let's see who it is. Hello. Hello. Who is who this? Is this? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who is this? My name is Ezra. Sorry. My name is Ezra. Eldua. Hi, Hi Eldua. Eldua. Welcome, Welcome to Kiddo Kids. Kids. In which grade are you in? Excuse me? Which uh, which grade are you in? I'm in third grade. Okay, third, third grade. In which school? Leaders private. Leaders private. Leaders private. Okay, so that's a nice school. Yeah, what are your hobbies? My hobby is karate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's only feeling to laugh. Yeah, I don't know. She's uh, excited or something. Am I having karate? Uh, she she was there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's my karate partner. She's my classmate. Hello, Ezra. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. So How is your sisters and brothers doing? Hello. What? How? What is your sister and brother doing? Are they uh, are they well? Are they fine? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so she's in third day. So which is your favorite color? My favorite color is uh, red. Red. Okay, so none of us are wearing red. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and so... And she's a yellow belt, you know. <laughs> so do you want to play a fun game with us? Yes. We'll go to the PlayStation. The PlayStation will appear on the TV screen and you can choose yes. from it. Yes, we have a lot of fun, fun games with us. Okay. Let's know it. Okay. Yes. Let's see. 
Oke, okay, so the games are Atlas, Connection, Bus, Tank Twister, Spell Me, uh, Logo no. Quiz, GK Quiz, Riddles, Remember Me, Guess Me, Jumble Jumbo, Flat Quiz, A Yummy Chocolate, Guess the Movie, Arabian Quiz, and Laxigram. And what do you want from this? Atlas. Sorry? Atlas. Atlas. Yeah. Okay, okay, so the so first caller I've chosen the Atlas. The first game, right? The first game. So we three will play together. So we'll start A T L A S. You have to start. What? No, you start. You start with S. Yes. 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 <laughs> Hello. Ezra. Please concentrate, yes. otherwise the call will drop. Yeah, you have to concentrate on the uh, what is it, on the phone. Not to the TV. Yes. Please mute the TV. It is on. Actually, we can't hear. Sorry. Which is the thing for me? S. 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 Yes. <laughs> Singapore. 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 E. Oh. E. Sorry. E. Sorry. England D England D Denmark as always K K K Kenya 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 A America A America A Alhabad D D It's D not E D D D D D Okay Denmark Denmark uh, it's already told you have to choose another. Yeah, something else. Dubai. Dubai. I. Dubai. I. I. Indonesia. A. Indonesia. A. Africa. A. Africa. A. Ole ole o. I'm weird. I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, you told Africa. Okay, for you A. A. Africa A. A. Australia. You have to tell a let place with letter A. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Did the phone drop? <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, we said you please. We have just some uh, instructions to give you that when you're calling us, please mute your TV and only concentrate on your phone because it's 20 to 30 seconds delay. So, if you concentrate on your TV and if you didn't mute, we'll mute be your waiting TV, for your call. Yeah, if you didn't I mean, mute your TV. Uh, oh, we have a next caller. Hello. We forgot the quiz of the day to ask her. Oh, yeah. To this caller, we'll ask. Hello. Hello. Who, Who is, is this? Ashna. Hi, Ashna. Welcome, Welcome to Kiro Kids. Kids. Uh, hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Fine. Okay, how is your school? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No schools. How is your vacations going on? Good. Good. Okay, so did you go anywhere? Outside. Uh, I didn't go anywhere. So it is Christmas is there after five days. Are you going outside? Yes. Any plans? Huh? Christmas is there after five days. So did you plan anything to go somewhere or like that? Do you want to go? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where do you want to go? Uh, park. Park. Okay. In which grade are you in? Grade 2. Grade oh, grade two. 2. She has a cute voice, right? Yes. And also, 3, 2. I think so. The next yeah. caller is going to be the first grade. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we ask her the quiz for the day. I don't think so. Uh, what's your question? Uh, okay. So, the quiz for the day will appear in your screen. And my question is, which is the world's longest river? Hello. Which is the world's Nine. longest river? Nine. No. That's the largest river. What did you say? Largest Nine. river. Nine. This is longest. Long. Mm. I don't know. Okay, it's fine. We'll reveal uh, the answer last. Uh, so stay tuned. 
the question will be coming uh, in the next caller if the next caller does not answer we will be going like that like that like that yeah in the till the end if nobody answers we will be telling you the answer okay so okay, stay so tuned to kids uh, we will go for a fun game let's go for the playstation the playstation will appear on the tv screen and you can choose from it let's see what all fun games you are going to have we have atlas atlas is over but uh, connection bus Tongue twisters. Spell me. Logo quiz. GK quiz. Riddles. Remember me. Guess me. Jumble jumbo. Flag quiz. Yummy chocolate. Guess the movie. Arabian quiz. And laxigram. Guess the movie. Guess the movie. movie. Do you know how to play it? Hello. Hello. You know how to play, play. Guess the movie? Yeah. Okay, so you both be a pair or we both will be the pair? You both be a pair, I'll be alone. Okay, fine. Okay, so um, who's gonna think? I should think, right? Yeah, you have to think and we, I can ask you five questions and you can ask him five questions. He will be just a yes or no box. He's not a, actually a box. Anyway, he can only tell yes or no. Yeah, yes or no. Is there so, a caller there? Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So, uh, okay, I thought. <laughs> English movie, new one. Uh, we have to ask her, right, which language you which want. Which language do you want? You want English, you want Malayalam, you want Tamil, Tamil or Hindi. Hindi. Canada and all don't. Malayalam. 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 Okay. Um, okay, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it. Fine. So, I'll start. Hello. Hello. I'll start. Yeah. Okay. So, mm, what will I? Okay. Is it a new movie, middle movie, or an old movie? New only. This year. This year. Recently. Recently means two, three months ago. Okay. So now your turn. Ask him a question. Hello. Hello. Ask him a question. Okay. One question is done. Nine more to go. Four more for me, five more for her. Yeah. Okay, to the Mohan Hello? It's the Mohan Sinha. Sorry? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, tell. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you can tell. Ask the question. It's a new movie. It is a new movie. Uh, sorry, I asked that question already. You can change the question or something else. Yeah. She asked it. Mm. Very bad girl. Huh? <laughs> you can ask the actor, actress, anything. Yeah, uh, if you uh, if you want to ask, is this actor act in this? Uh, does this yeah, act, yeah. Uh, did it get any awards? Something like that. Just recently, right? It got awards also. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. You can ask a question. Huh? You can ask a question. Is it a new movie? Okay, yes. fine. Okay, it is a new movie. Now my chance. Yes. Um, 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 okay. Is the actor Malayalam, right? Yeah, Malayalam. Is the actor Nivin Pauli or uh, or Dulkar Salman? I have to say yes or no. So yes. You have to ask like the questions. Okay. You, you have to ask, is it Nivin Pauli? Is it Dulkar Salman? Something like that. Okay, is it Nivin Pauli? Is it Dulkar Salman? No, only one question. Uh, okay, is it uh, Dulkar Salman? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so I asked him, is it Dilka Salma? And right now you can ask. Charlie? Correct. <laughs> okay, so fine. So, what is it? Uh, I mean, Sanusha has found the answer and it has got various awards. And you ask the best question. Keep it up. Okay, fine. So, will you call us again? Hello? Ta-ta, bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
Vakala has no response. Yes. I think so she is watching the uh, yeah. the TV there. It's so fine. So I have told the quiz today which is uh, I said you which is the longest river in the world. And the answer will be coming in the next one. Oh, I thought he's going to say the answer. No, I won't say. <laughs> okay, now let's go for healthy tips. Yes, and healthy tips will be powered by <laughs> Okay, so let's go for the health tips. So every day I will take one one fruit or vegetable and come and I will tell the benefits of that fruit. So today my fr uh, I have taken watermelon and watermelon seed. So first let's go for watermelon seeds, seeds. health benefits, right? Yeah. So beneficially in combating protein deficiencies, seed oil removes a sebum, dirt and grease. Incredible source of magnesium. Help in improving male fertility can be used for treating diabetes. Keeps your hair, hair healthy and shiny. Fatty acids in seeds help the skin moisturized. <coughs> okay, so now we'll go for benefits of watermelon. Yeah, so now we don't need a shampoo or something like that because uh, as you have read that it is uh, <coughs> what is it keep your hair healthy and shiny okay now we will go for the health benefits of watermelon fights with cancer reduces high blood pressure high water content 92 percentage reduce blood sugar level produces energy boosts immune system promotes weight loss and reduces heart disease okay so there are uh, what is it there are many of this what is it yes. benefits of this watermelons so i said watermelon seed and he said watermelon, watermelon fruit. and before we go for the other segment we have are a talk about this caller yeah hello 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 who is this hello safa Okay, Safa. Hi, Safa. Welcome to Kiru Kids. Hi, Safa. Which school are you in? Abu Dhabi Indian School. Oh, you are Abu Dhabi. Yeah, that's good. So, again, which grade? Six. Six. High five. High five. Okay, so you have become you. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so you are in sixth grade and you are from Abu Dhabi, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And what's your name again? What's your Safa. Name? Safa. Okay, Safa. Okay, so Safa, uh, we are here to play games, right? Before that, quiz of the day. Quiz of the day, yeah. Quiz okay. of the day, yeah. So yeah, our quiz this. was, which is the longest river in the whole world? Not whole, world. Amazon. Yes, it's Amazon River. So Ashna, if you are watching you. that, the answer is? Amazon. Amazon, yeah. Okay, so our quiz of the day is over for today. Yes, uh, no, stay tuned to the next yes. day which Sanuja is going to do. And <laughs> I am not having that segment. I am sorry if you want, I will bring one. Okay. Okay, so, so now let's go for the games. Yes, yeah, so the PlayStation okay. will appear on the TV screen and you can choose from it. Okay. We have Atlas. Connection. Bus. Tongue Twisters. Spell me. Logo Quiz. TK Quiz. Riddles. Uh, remember me. Guess me. Jumble Jumbo. Flag quiz. Yummy chocolate. Guess the movie. Arabian quiz. And Laxigram. But Our before uh, Atlas is over and Guess the movie is yes. over. Okay, um Spell me. Spell me. That's a spell good game, me. right? Yeah, that's a good one. That's spelling, right? Enriches your vocabulary, right? So yeah. let's know which uh, I have bought today. So uh, we'll go for four. Yeah. I will ask two and Shiva will ask two. Yes. So you want easy or hard? Easy or hard. What do you want? Easy. Easy. Okay. So your first word is unhappy. U N H A P P Y. Yes. Very good. Now and we'll now go for the you second can one. ask. Yeah. Second one is blueberry. B L U E B E R R Y. Okay. Yes. So that was very simple. You now took it two very easy. we. Gave you easy and two. Now we are going to give you hard. Okay. Okay. Your first word is architecture. A R C H I T E C. Uh, architecture. T U R E. Very yes. good. Now next we will go for psychiatrist. Okay, that's a what? Psychiatrist. What is it? Psychiatrist. Oh. I don't know. Oh okay, yeah, so you ask something else. We'll go for um, nutrition. Yes, that's a good word. Yeah. Nutrition. What's the word? Nutrition. 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 Okay, N-U. 
Hi friends, welcome back to Kiro Kids. Yes, and the Know Your Heroes is powered by Shivana and Subhash. Okay, so this is a very complicated name, and it's an author. So I am uh, what uh, what is he is? I am learning about this in our school. Okay. And it is an author, and uh, his name is Percy by Shelley. Oh, Percy yes. by Shelley. Yes, Percy by Shelley. So let's start. So the slides will appear on the TV screen, and I will be also reading with you. Percy by Shelley. Percy by Shelley is uh, is birthday is on August seventeen ninety two, eighth July eighteen twenty two. Okay, so that is a very uh, old. And she was one of the major. Yeah, and what you what is a was uh, Percy by Shelley was one of the English romantic poets and is regarded by some as among the finest lyric. as the well as epic poets in the english language as a radical in his poetry as well as in his political and social views shelley did not see fame during his lifetime but recognizing what is him for his poetry grew steadily following his death shelley was a key member of a close circle of what is a visionary poets and writers that Mm, what is it include lord uh, you know byron lay hunt thomas love peacock and his second wife mary shelley the author of frankenstein and okay. uh, his uh, wife, second wife is the author of frankenstein so now move on to the second slide his other major works include uh, what is a ground freaking was drama the sensi in 19 i mean 1819 and long visionary poems such as queen mab later uh, what is him revoked as the demon of the world alastair the revolt islam uh, what is a islam adonius and fromatral uh, fromatral umborn in 19, 1820 come these names it will take at least a month it is a very complicated names they gave in 1820 and widely considered to be a masterpiece hellas a lyrical drama in 1821 and his final unfinished work the triumph of life which is on 1822 it is an unfinished it's not fully written oh. so now the next slide Shelley's close circle of friends included some of the most important <coughs> progressive thinkers of the day including his father-in-law the f- uh, philosopher William Godwin and Lee Hunt though Shelley's poetry and prose about the remained steady throughout the life most publisher and journals declined to publish his works for the fear of being arrested for ethelosophy or sedition now for the next slide So this is the last slide. Shelley's poetry sometimes had only an underground readership during his day, but his poetic achievements are widely recognized today. And his advanced political and social thought impacted the cherished other moments in England and reached down to the present day. Shelley's theory of economic and uh, what is the admiralty for the example had a profound influence on Karl Marx. is early perhaps first writing on the non violent uh, resistance influence both 
Leo Tolstoy and Mahatma Gandhi. So, um, what do you say? So, it is a very, what do you say? What, what good is that character. Mean? Yeah, he's a very good character. He's a uh, uh, big author. And he also wrote that Ozymandias about an Egyptian pharaoh. Ozymandias and it is names. My name is Ozymandias. The king of kings. Like that. It is a very... How did you le uh, learn all these names? Actually, we are learning this in our English class. So it is about um, what is it, e Egyptian pharaoh, and about is is actually self uh, selfless. What is it, selfish one? He only thinks I am the greater, and nobody can excel my powers. Okay. So now, anyways, leave that and and that was a good hero. Yes. And, and now we'll go for no. Uh, I mean, book is on by A P J Abdul Kala. Oh, that's. Um. Guess it. Which, do you know that? I uh, autobiography. Yes, it is his autobiography. I know only one, which is Wings of Fire. Correct. Uh, Wings of Fire, an autog uh, autobiography of A P J Abdul Kalam. Uh, it was written in 1999. 1999. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice number, right? One nine nine nine. Okay, F he was a pro former president of India. It was written by Dr. Kalam and Arun Tiwari. Kalam exams, uh, examines his early life, effort, hardship, fortitude, luck and chance that eventually led him to the lead Indian space research, nuclear and missile programs. Kalam started his career after graduating from aerospace engineering at MIT, which is in Chennai, India at Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and was assigned to build a hovercraft prototype. Later and was assigned to build a, what is it, I mean, later he moved to ISRO and helped establish the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and pioneered the first space launch vehicle program. And this also the names are very complicated. During the 1990s. So we can understand that Shiva 90 whatever is complicated. Yes. Uh, during the 1990s uh, and the early 2000s, Kala moved to the DRDO to lead the Indian nuclear weapon program. With a particular success, uh, successes in the what is it, thermonuclear weapons develop, uh, development culminating in the operation Smiling Buddha and an ICBM Agni missile. Kala died on 27th July 2015 during a speech at Indian Institute of Management in Shillong, Meghalaya. Uh, it was, I was in India this time and uh, from India I saw this news in the TV and actually uh, what is it, uh, what was that word again, um, just leave it, uh, I, for, I forgot the word for his name, uh, just leave it, okay now uh, what do we say is there are more to read about this uh, bookies you know about the APJ Abdul Kalams. So why don't we go for the my segment and continue the bookies? Yeah, as you wish. Yeah, that's a good idea, right? So we'll go for the my Seg segment. Segment, tell again. Hi friends, welcome to Kino Kids. I'm very sorry. So uh, yeah, this she so I, I, never I, tells. Yeah, I, I am sorry that because sometimes I made a uh, I make some mistake in the first itself. <laughs> I messed up totally. Okay, messed up. so we have reached our my segment. Yes. So do you know in my segment I have took an interesting topic. I like it. I don't know our viewers or uh, you will like it. We learn this in English. Yes, and let's know what is it. It's synonyms and antonyms, you know? Yes, of course, synonyms and antonyms. Yes, so let's go for the slide. So synonyms and antonyms. Next slide, please. <laughs> okay, let's know what are synonyms. A synonym is a word or phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another word or phrase in the same language. Nice. Words that are synonyms are said to be synonymous and the state of being synonym is called synonymy. So down you can see a small picture, it's synonyms. So synonyms are like synonyms are the same. So synonyms are the same, you guys know right? You can say happy or glad cause synonyms are the same. Yes, because in meaning English also we learn this by meanings. Yes. Uh, uh, in the bracket will be there synonyms. Okay. So now let's go for some examples. So there are examples suppose like jump, lean, kid, child, shout, yell, toast, throw, cold, chilly, large and big. Okay and now let's go for what are antonyms. That was really cool right? 
It was very good. Yes. So let's know what are antonyms. Antonyms. An antonym is a word that is the opposite meaning of another. Yeah. It comes from the Greek word anti for anti. opposite and onium for name. So anti and onium comes for uh, yeah name. Onium means name. Since language is complex, people may at times disagree on what words are truly opposite in meanings to other words. So down there is again a small picture. So that's antonym. So we both will tell it. Dirty. Clean. Fast. Slow. Happy. Sad. Hot. Cold. Light. Dark. Push. Push. I mean you said push right? So it is poor. Okay, sorry. Rich. Poor. Ye a wet. And dry. And now let's go for some more examples. Next, please. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just tell again the definition. Antonyms are words which have opposite meaning. Can you think of any more? Mm -hmm. So let's think. I will ask you, what is opposite of wet? Uh, dry. And now you ask me, what is the opposite of young? Old. Very good. What is the opposite of weak? Strong. Okay. Now we have colorful one. Open. Close. Full, empty, uh, then uh, smile, frown, shout, uh, whisper, okay, then dim, bright, loose, loose. tight. Very so now we have more opposites. Let's go for that also. Thank you for clapping. <laughs> I know Up, that. Uh, down, hard, soft, right, left, found, lost, friend, back, empty, full, cold. cold. I mean, cold, hot, first, last, in, out, open, shut, and wet, dry, dry. again. So that was our opposites, right? So also we can tell Shivanayan, I meant Shivanayan and Sanusha, opposite. <laughs> okay, fine. So did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it. And it was a very interesting one today. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> okay, no, so. don't hope, it is good. Okay, so that was our my segment and there were synonyms and antonyms, right? So now it's time to continue our bookies. Yes. So let's go back to the wings of fire. Wings of fire. fire. Okay, so no intro, okay? I'm just going to read it. <laughs> okay. So I uh, read that the word Kalam died, right? Kalam died during a speech at Indian Institute of Management in Shillong, Meghalaya. Kalam was born in 1931, the son of a little educated boat owner in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. He had an uh, what is a, unparalleled career as a defense scientist, culminating the highest civilian award for, of India, Bharat Ratna. As the chief of the country's defense research and developments programmer, Kalam demonstrated a great, uh, what is a, great potential for the dynamics and innovations that exited in the seemingly moribund research establishments. This is the story of Kala, own rise from the obscurity and his personal and professional struggles as well as the story of Agni, Trishul and Nag missiles that have become household names in India and that have raised the nation to the level of missile power of international uh, what is a reckoning. What is it? Since independence, uh, India has sought in various ways to self-realization and fortunately also to adultation and success. The book begins with the childhood of Kalam's life. In the beginning, he introduced us to his family and tries to familiarize with his birthplace, Rameshwaram. Did you hear the what is it, um, APJ Abdul Kalam's quote? I have heard many quotes like don't read success stories, you'll read just it. get an idea. I mean, uh, you um, uh, read failure stories, you'll get an, an idea. idea how to succeed. Then there are many, many beautiful and one more is also that quotes. dream is a not one, uh, what is it? Uh, dream is a not one you see when you sleep. Yeah. It is the thing which makes you not to sleep because you have to work hard for your dreams. Yes. There are many, many inspirational and Beautiful quotes by AP Abdul, Abdul Kalam, Kalam and most yeah. many many famous personalities. So that's really uncountable. So when we read this, so we found a point that he's a Tamilan from Rameshwaram. Yes. His father was a little bit uh, actually not that much. He was a normal person and he was a boat owner in Rameshwaram. 
Okay, so now we will move on. Yes. The child Rodi was a great admirer of his father, Jaunil Ambaid. What is it? Jaunil Ambaidan. It is a very complicated one. He was a man of great wisdom and kindness. Can I tell one thing? Yeah. Uh, not about this. Yeah. Uh, after hearing all these, I understood uh, Shivanayan's weakness word is what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, that and is a very bad. No? Very and bad. my weakness word I always repeat is so. I actually I was having that. My, uh, my what is it? My parents always say you have to stop that. So you have to stop that. So okay. No. Okay. 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 No. I what really is that? What is that? <laughs> I don't know this obviously and in the last we will thank all our teachers and all yeah continue okay he had an idea of help made in his uh, what is a in his what like is a no in his mother ashi amma so you heard uh, there are uh, his father's name is janula bedin and his mother's name is ashi amma he was also influenced by his close friend ahmad jalaluddin he was about 15 years older than kalam 15 years older this shows that he believed in spiritually matters this shows that he believed in spirituality and also believed in god and khuda uh, god and khuda means same only khuda means god uh, and god means khuda <laughs> he always went to lord shiva's temple with his friends the later part of the opening chapters he introduces his cousin Samsudin, his school teacher, and all the people who were felt any different amongst them. Here he, what is a emphasis one event which happened in the school days. Rameshwaram Sastri, a new teacher of his school, he could not stomach a Hindu priest's son sitting with a Muslim boy, which is his friend Samsudin. I have uh, uh, was it uh, that clip part one. Yeah, you have sound right. Yeah, um, uh, it's there yeah. in YouTube. In yeah, in our value day. class, we see it. See, same thing here, and also in uh, we, you know, Malayalam, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a um, sub uh, subject for us which is Malayalam, and we learned the stories. Oh. Uh. Okay. So still, I have learned in moral venture. This is a very nice story. You have to listen to this. In accordance with our school ranking, as a new teacher, saw it. I was asked to go out and sit on the back bench. I felt very sad, and so did my parents about the incident. Lakshmana Sastri summoned the teacher, and in our presence, told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality and communal intolerance in the minds of the innocent children. Discrimination. Yeah, their uh, parents came to the school and told their teacher, "What is this? You should not teach the children about this. This leave this what is it? Religions and things and all, and you should be together." So that is a very nice one, right? Together is a wonderful word when we leave. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when we learn it. We uh, learn it by when we were small and all. We learn it by the three words: to get her, to get her, to get her. So now he completed his school education in the Rameshwaram Elementary School and Chowk School in Rameshwaram. In 1950, he joined Saint Joseph's College, Trichy, to study for the B.Sc. Uh, what is the B.Sc. degree course? When he realized that physics was not a subject, then at last he had applied in Madras Institute of Technology (MIT). He or his family could not be able to spend that much of money for the course of MIT. Zohari's sister stood with him. Okay, so that's the end of this. And there was many about A B G Kalam, uh, A B G Abdul Kalam. Yes. But this is not and the end. And can you just tell what is the time right now? The time is five o'clock. And uh, you know, in five o'clock, what we does? Bye bye. Yeah, the saddest moment of Kiddo Kids, which is the winding up section. It's yes. fine. Uh, we are so happy for our callers, everyone, and keep calling and keep, keep calling watching. Keep calling to Kiddo Kids. Yes, yeah, so yeah. So this is me, Sanusha Suresh, and Shivana is signing out from Kid.